What about Peter then? Um, was the times when like he defended you against other people or he attacked other people or any crazy stories where he got paranoid on other people? Um, no, not really, because he used to stick up for myself. Didn't you say there was one where some guy was looking at him? I think it was in Witness. I don't think it was in America. You were sat in a pub. And some guy kept looking at him. Peter goes, if that guy looks at me oh, again. Oh, yeah, that was in the derby, that. Go on, what happened? He just went up and decked him, put him on the floor. Knocked him out? Just walked up, just like, I've been in the derby. Yeah. So you come from the barn, there's them little steps. Yeah. So the fellow sat there on the end of the steps. Yeah. And Peter just, this fella just kept looking at me weird or something. Or just, mm. I don't know what it was, but Peter was just in one. Yeah. And he fucking looks at you like that again. And yeah. he walked over and he just... He didn't even go up the step. He just lifted him, laid the head in, and just one punch, and oh. he hit the other end of the. He just hit the other end of the bar, and I just wow. got hold of him and said, "Get out!" Wow. Because the police were already looking for him over something else that they never got him from over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm on about, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that's why he went to America mainly yeah. to get away from that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. he was a warrant for him. Um, how did you guys meet? Um. I just split up in my marriage. Mm. Um, got out for a night out. Uh, my friend had introduced me to ecstasy pills for the first time. Never took drugs in my life until yeah. my thirties. Um, comes out top of the town, mm. and he was stood there, and he's chat 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 chat, and he's going, oh, "I'm going back to this part. I think we're going to bed sit or something." Do you remember kind of... what he said to you specifically? He just asked us, me and my friends, did we want to go back to this house party? So yeah. why not? You know. A little bevy. So we all go, me and two other girls, we went back to this, I think it was a bed set in uh, Peel House Lane where we were, somewhere up there. Yeah. I was that drunk, I can't remember, but it was up that way somewhere. Yeah. It wasn't far up. You know, by the bingo place up there. Mm. Um, so we just sat in there and he's sort of like in this big chair and he's going, <laughs> as a joint, and he's looking over at me like that and he's going, I tell you what, girl, another one of these and I might even get a semi on with you. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> You've got to get stoned before you can even have a semi on, you know what I mean? <laughs> what a way to compliment a girl, like, you know what I mean? So we just had a crack then. We just chatted all night. Made me laugh. I was laughing my tits off all because he's comical. He is comical. And he walked me to the taxi place down the road. Yeah. See me in a taxi and that was it. Don't never see him again, you know what I mean? Didn't know him from Adam. Yeah, yeah. And then about two or three weeks later, I'm out again with my mates and there he is. So I invited him back to mine. And I never saw the back of him since. <laughs> he never went home. And what was it like living with him? It was good at first. But otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to America and risked my life and my kids and everything. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have uprooted all my life. I had my own house. And, you know, I, I was settled, you know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. like I had nothing. Yeah, yeah. I had three kids and everything, and I uplifted everything to be with him. This new life he promised me. Which, yeah. yeah. It was a new life, but it wasn't what he expected. Because um, we, we got on really well because we're both mental. Yeah. We've both got the same sense of humour. We don't give a shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we really, really got on. And then the drug sort of just took over and he just got from bad to it. It started here. Yeah. I noticed a few changes in him when he started doing a bit of cocaine or a few drugs, a bit of weed or, a, or drink, mostly with the drink. Mm -hmm. And he just got from bad to worse, really. Would, otherwise, we were a great couple otherwise. But... Were there any times in, in Witness then? when collectively the wild ones were challenged by anybody? No, I don't think so. People just knew better? Yeah, I guess. Well, they all knew Pisa anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people knew me. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't known to go out scrapping, like, but I wasn't known to be quiet, neither. So your reputations preceded you? I didn't, really, I didn't have a reputation as, like, this big hard knock. I just normal known around this, the place where I don't take any shit. But you were the wild woman of Borneo. Yeah, that was just a, that was just because of that incident, like you know. Just because a whole chair, was, a yeah. whole family was hospitalised with a bar stool. Well, you can't come at people and think they get away with it. <laughs> I don't care who you are, what's wrong with you, or anything. If you come at me, you're going to get a response. Other than the guy you saw, you said he knocked out. Who was staring at him? Did you see him in any other fights in in witness? Um, well, I've seen him knock a few people out, but I've just walked off because I don't know what the hell's in the entails and I don't want to get involved in half of them because he just goes off his head for no reason at all. Yeah. But the majority of the time, it was just, he wasn't bad. Yeah. Because it was just, we were just like a couple court or whatever you, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? Because he's very just, charming and funny. He is, he's a funny yeah. fella, like, but that yeah. nasty side. 
Not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And it was nasty in the end. It got nasty. It got really nasty in the end. And what was your life like before, Peter, if you go way back? Oh. I mean, you've got a very strong Liverpool accent. Yeah, I'm from Wavertree originally. Wavertree? Yeah. Okay. From down the road. <laughs> and um, what was your life like growing up? Um, Not really good. I can't remember much of it because it was sporadic. We had different dads, you know. Yeah. Um, my mum wasn't a very nice person, right? to say the least. Yeah. I got attacked at the age of 12 by 13 boys um, on a cross-country school. You say you got attacked at 13, what, what I happened? I was 12. It was 12. 13 boys. 13 boys, what happened there? I got sexually attacked. Um, but that's parts of me growing up. But yeah. Life of what wasn't good. That was life in Liverpool then, was it? No, it was in Runcorn. Oh, it was in Runcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, bloody hell, that's fine. Not in Pridey Woods, yeah. Well, that's got to mess your head up, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. little bit. Was you always tough or did, was it things no, in life actually, that made you tough? Actually, up until that point, the 12 year point, I was with Raw and Quiet. Was you? I had to have a speech therapist when I was little. Somebody helped me with my speech because I couldn't talk properly. Yeah. That's why I tend to stutter a little bit because I have to think of what I'm saying. Right. The odd words. Yeah. And my mum had sent me to the shop for disinfectants and I'd ask for dick infested, you know what I mean? I'd get yeah. chucked out the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, stuff like that. But. Yeah. I did have a hard life as kids. What were you like in school? Um, I was very quiet in school until that incident. Yeah. And I just sort of, it's like a flip on me, I've just flipped. Of course, going to change and it I forever, just yeah. turned into this nasty little angry person. You were projecting your trauma? Mm, I just got very angry and... Yeah. But I was very quiet up until then. Whereas my younger sister, my mum had to beg her to let me go and play with her. Right. Because I wasn't... Didn't mix with people. I was very I was much a loner. Were there any subjects in school that interested you? Uh, maths. Maths. Mm -hmm. And did you have like dreams of, of being in a certain profession? Art. Art. I went to art college in. You want to be an artist? Yeah. So you went to art college in Runcorn. Yeah. What was that like? Well, it's a little old place. It was years and years ago now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Talking about what? Nineteen seventy-five, I think I left school. No, or was yeah. that when I got married? <laughs> yeah, seventy-four, seventy-five. I left school. Yeah, because I'm sixty-two now. Right. So I was fifteen, nearly sixteen when I left school. Yeah. So it was a little old building, little grotty old place. It was, mm. and I loved it. Yeah. And then I got married. Right. Yeah. Did um, you think that was it then? Happily ever after? Well, I mainly got married to get away from home. Yeah. It was me way out. No disrespect to, to my husband, we do, you know, we had a good marriage at, at the beginning. Yeah. Things go south though, don't they? They do, yeah, yeah. And then you... And, and then, then I met Peter. And then you met Peter. Yeah. And sort of done my wild thing, what I should have done as a teenager. Yeah. I was done in my 30s and 40s. Right. Because I'd never seen a drug in my life. Yeah. Until I was 30-something. Yeah. Never done anything, never mm -hmm. been in trouble, never done anything. Yeah. And then it just went berserk. Right. And I think Peter brought that side out of mm -hmm. me. Because when you got to Arizona, some people did try things on with you. Mm. And um, I've had people, various descriptions of what what you said to them. You were like, do I look like fucking chap Levy? You no, fucking think you're fucking with and all this. No, they don't, they don't think they fucking are, you know what I mean? And some you, of them. You set them straight quite fast. Yeah, you yeah. have to, don't you? So I then, think they think because you're little and or whatever or from somewhere else or whatever, you can just take the piss. Yeah. Especially when you're small. 